Hi, it's Mara Gamble from our Permaculture Life and the Permaculture Education Institute and welcome back to my Permaculture Live at Five. Now the last few days I've been talking about things in my house, uh, in my kitchen, things about uh, what you can do with you know, scraps of vegetables and how you can re-sprout them. Well, today we've gone to the edge of the garden, to the margins, off in the boundaries where, where things are far less maintained and you kind of discover little things. And this tree here has been growing in my on the edges of my garden for a very long time and I just let it do its thing. Um, and it's often one of those ones that is extremely hardy, um, particularly in the tropical and subtropical areas and it's an indispensable plant in Indian cooking and it's the it's the curry leaf tree. Uh, I once did plant it in the middle of my garden but it preferred out here so it's kind of in the in the semi-shade area and uh, and it just is growing beautifully and I'll never be able to eat this many um, curries in my life but so what I, why I wanted to talk about it is because it's kind of considered a bit of a weed tree but like a lot of the weeds you know they're totally edible so if you think about the weeds that we tend to look at as edible plants you know like the dandelions and all of those things chickweed I'd like to have a look at a few weed trees that we can explore that are edible that are just around us all the time so curry leaf is one now curry leaf is considered to be an essential plant in a lot of well a lot of the pretty much every south in east sorry pretty much every south indian curry um, would not go without this as its flavoring and when you smell it when you crush the leaves and you smell it it's like this intense um, combination of aromas with a kind of a citrusy and woody edge it's absolutely beautiful so what what you do with it is you you take this uh, leaf or a few leaves and you just simmer it in the oil first um, before you then um, take out the leaves and just use the oil in cooking but also the leaves are absolutely edible as well so you can leave them in the curry it's not like a, a bay leaf where you have to take it out you can leave these in and eat them so once they're cooked up they they soften beautifully and actually the leaves are really high in um, the B group vitamins and also iron and selenium and iodine as well which is really interesting so so you can use it in your cooking now you can add it to rice you can add it to dal maybe you can add it to sort of egg type um, dishes you can also um, steep it in oil and use it both as a a, um, for dry hair and dry skin and you can make a paste of the leaves and use it on um, burns or bruises or boils um, so you know it has so many different uses now there's one thing that I want to warn you about this plant though and that is this I don't know if you can see this little the little fruit here so it's just starting to fruit now um, but these the actual berries are edible but the seed inside is toxic so don't eat that bit so don't think oh that looks like an interesting berry I'll just have a nibble just um, just um, put that aside <laughs> it's really not a good thing to to use um, but what I did want to say that if you are keeping it in your garden and you're wanting to maintain it a good idea is actually to try and um, trim your tree regularly so that it doesn't seed and then the birds don't take it and take it out into bushlands and things like that so that's kind of an important thing to to keep in mind so if you find some of these curry leaf trees a good idea is to grab you know lots of the leaves and and rather than drying them because they lose flavor that way the best way to store them is to freeze them um, you can take a cutting of this plant and you just need a piece of the stem and trim off the bottom type of leaves like I normally show you and just leave a few leaves on top but that's best done in summer you can also grow it from seed but just peg where you know that there's a, a curry leaf tree that you can take a cutting of when it gets back to summer again um, so so that's really simple so this is a, a nutritious flavorsome vegetable that's often overlooked in places like Australia but um, revered um, since ancient times in places like India as a really really useful plant so I hope you give it a try and um, really taste the difference in your flavors now the thing is though that just to remember that this is not a replacement for the curry powder it just adds a whole nother dimension to your curries that you never knew possible before so I hope you enjoy the curry leaf tree and um, join me again tomorrow live at five for another plant and how you can find a way to grow an abundance of food or find wild foods in and around your garden and your your neighborhood um, while we have less access to seeds and seedlings
seedlings because there's been the great big garden rush. Um, I'll put some links below to some of my resources uh, like my permaculture gardening kit, how to how to get a really thriving garden happening quickly and also my new four-part permaculture series where you can um, learn about what is permaculture and how to weave it into your life and livelihood too. So I'll catch you tomorrow at five. Have a great day. See you.